Hey, my name is Steven Perez. I'm 27 years old, born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm an up and coming powerlifter. So I've been powerlifting, I would say about five years at a late age. I'd say about 25 years old. That's when I started powerlifting. I guess it's because uh, I haven't been getting strong enough. You know, I just wanted to get stronger at everything that I do at the gym. And, you know, bodybuilding training wasn't getting me anywhere when it comes to that. So I switched to powerlifting and, you know, everything just took off from there. To be a powerlifter, it just means uh, straightforward, very bluntly, it just means uh, strictly power, you know. You just want to get the most out of your workout, literally. Uh, you just focus on strength training at all times, always focus on power, always focus on the best amount of weight you could lift in terms of like how heavy it is. Recently, the most uh, amount of uh, weights I lifted on squats was 505 pounds. Uh, soon, it could be more than that. I'm still training on that. And for benching, so far it's been 315 to 320, depending how you know how I'm feeling that day. And deadlifts, I could say 565 pounds. Me personally, uh, with squats, a lot of people they tend to grab the barbell like right around here, right? But the way I would grab it, I would have the barbell on my back, but I would literally grab it from the end to end. So it would kind of look like this, you know? Uh, with bench, I see a lot of people in powerlifting, uh, they're grabbing the bar really wide to reduce the range of motion. And me personally, I don't like, you know, going that wide because it doesn't really show you the full potential of how much power you have inside of you. If you really want to, you know, dig deep at how strong you really are, I would usually put my arms around here. So, pinky on the ring of the barbell, and from that position, you're using most of your triceps and your shoulders to push, you know. And with deadlifts, uh, there's uh, two kinds of techniques that people use. The majority of them right now, they like to use sumo deadlifts, which is uh, you're putting your foot stance really wide to reduce range of motion and you're picking it up picking it up from the middle of the barbell and using most of your hips drive it back up what I like to use is very old school it's called the conventional deadlift so your feet are close together you grab the barbell from the middle ends of the, the bar and you're driving it up using most of your hamstrings your hips and your back right now I could safely say I'm training about five to six times a week, uh, hitting every single muscle group at least two to three times. Uh, bench pressing, I'm starting to bench uh, five times a week, just to like see what I could do, you know, with my form, my techniques, and also get a lot of volume into it, so I could, you know, get a lot of power when the time comes to hit a PR. You know, a PR is actually a personal record. Uh, benefits of powerlifting, uh, mainly you get strong. You get stronger and in the long run you're not going to be ending up you know struggling you know to walk you're not going to be struggling to you know sitting down obviously there, there are some injuries that will come along with it but at the end you're, you're working on your back you're working on your muscular structure and you're working on your bone density you know the more uh, resistant trainings you do in general the more uh, dense your bone is going to be the more uh, muscle the, the more muscle you're going to put on your body that's basically how it works in every single training you do me personally I think it's uh, a great way to cope with stress anxiety depression whatever uh, mental mental health issues you're having with your life uh, I believe powerlifting is like a coping mechanism for everyone to actually you know let out all the the things that's been going on in your life uh, it helped me personally a lot because I've been, uh, you know, dealing with a lot of stress lately. I've been dealing with a lot of like pressure on me, you know, and I'm, I'm only 27 and I feel like everybody's always like ahead of me when it comes to like, you know, being successful in life, you know, everybody's getting married left and right. Uh, you see your own, your own friends, you know, becoming successful in school. And yet you're here, you know, uh, you're here 
trying to make the best of it, you know, you're trying to make the best as you could. You're trying to make it in life. And obviously there is gonna come a, a point in time where I'm gonna be successful, but that just takes time. That takes a lot of dedication to do to be successful. And I believe like with all the things that's been going on in life with everyone else and uh, you know, when it comes to you know dealing with stress, I feel like power thing. It just takes all of that away. It motivates you and drives you to to keep pushing. And I think it's really health, very healthy for you to go to the gym and train whatever uh, program you're in because it's it's just a mental health stress to me. I give much respect to you know the bodybuilders out there that put their body. To work to push pushing their limits to you know s become a, a big sculpture a human sculpture and you know i love seeing people you know putting out their best no matter what they do it could be any type of sports you know um probably the thing is no different you know people actually put their their best their max effort into the sport a power thing so and yeah, it's a it's a great community. If you're if you're into if you're into strength, if you're into like building power into your workouts, that's the best thing in the world, in my opinion. I love powerlifting since the day I started. Well, the only thing I wanted to do at the gym was to get stronger and bigger. With the sport of powerlifting, you can do that. You can do the exact same. You know, I mean, not not the exact same thing, but you could do all these different workouts for powerlifting. It could give you the same results as, you know, bodybuilders, you know. The sport of powerlifting, it actually, you know, give you, gives you sort of the same benefits, you know, if you know what I mean. Um, obviously, you get to eat or, you know, limit yourself how much you eat. And you could definitely put out uh, more strength and size into powerlifting. You know, and I'm satisfied with that for now. But like from this, well, actually, I started in 2018, and from that that year and onwards, I was just super satisfied. I, I I fell in love with the community as well. I fell in love with the sport of powerlifting. All I ever wanted to do was to get strong, and that's the sport of powerlifting got me through there from this point on. I'm hoping that in the future, I do get into more competitions. I would do much more better than I did the first time. I would definitely, I'm definitely looking forward to get a, a first place medal for sure, and hopefully, um, hopefully I could get into a, like a national a championship. You know, I would be definitely interested in that. But also too, uh, aside from powerlifting, I am planning either, you know, there, there's there's two options I could choose from. Is either I go back to college or you know. A private school and study on physical therapy I've always wanted to be a physical therapist and if I could get the license for that then I will be satisfied with having a successful career you know, um, you know career always comes first um, if not then there's other options too I could always, I've always wanted to own a gym <laughs> you know if I could uh, study more in business if I get to study more of the business aspect of the world I will definitely plan on, you know, opening up my own gym. Uh, not anytime soon, but, you know, I would say it would take a long time for it to happen. Uh, yeah, and that's about it.